For one final push, we're hitting Fagin's fortress. It won't be easy. I heard about Amitha. Whatever you're feeling, just know that Sabal only wants what's best for Kirat. We have to get going. to have your help with the assault. Yes,
Oh no! 
have against my likeness, all those posters, Eric, my double, and now this. Am I missing a hint? Should I start taking this personally? That statue was solid fucking gold. Literally. I'm not being metaphorical. Do you know how many artifacts I had to melt down to get it made? And poor Eric's standing there for God knows how long just to pose for it. Well, it's done, he's done. And dinner's nearly ready. More. I got the gate open. I'm heading for the palace. The Royal Guard is counterattacking. We can't support you. I'm going in. Come in. I apologize for the austerity I sent to help home. Chances are you shot them on your way in. Now, before we begin... Ah, to whom am I speaking? The son who returned to scatter his mother's ashes, or the lunatic who has murdered his way to the top of my mountain? If I was speaking to the first guy, then I would say, sit down. Let's be civilized. Enjoy some food. But we tried that before, didn't we? At our first meeting? You sat right here. Paul was off applying voltage to the nipples of your rude little plus one. I stood just like this. And what were my exact words? Stay here, enjoy the Crab Rangoon, don't move, I'll be right back. Now, if you had just listened, just waited for me, then we would have come back here straight away, together, and scattered your mother's ashes. So then you must be the second guy who didn't listen decided instead to join the other monkeys and start throwing his shit around. But I'll tell you what. <clears throat> I call a do-over. Hmm? I say you have two choices. One, you could shoot me, boring, or you could sit down, enjoy some food, and you and I will go scatter your mother's ashes, together.
So, who did you kill? Hmm? Is it Amitabh? Sabal? Doesn't really matter. I already know. I just want to hear you say it. Fuck you. Oh my goodness, boy, you didn't even blink. <laughs> well, you do realize that you're just giving away your country, right? It's yours. It's always been yours. Kirat is yours. I pulled you off the bus in the first place to pass it on to you. Well, I suppose you could take it back. You're halfway there. One down, one to go. Not that I want to put ideas in your head. But at least now we know you have a taste for doing what it takes. Well, no more putting it off, I suppose. Hmm. Well, come on. And don't forget your mother. <laughs> you do realize that urn represents all that's left of the old RJ. The pre-Kirat RJ. Once you spread those ashes, all the ties you have to that previous life are gone. And then what happens? Well, I suppose you could do what I did after Mohan killed Lakshmana. Oh, you didn't know that, did you? Huh. Yes, your father killed your half-sister, and then your mother killed him in return. I simply continued where she left off. I killed so many people for them. But then I realized I was only using Lakshmana's death as an excuse to do whatever I wanted to do. Just as you use those ashes as an excuse to do whatever you want to do. Finally made it. You know, the one and only time I walked into this place, I came in a sane man and came out like this. You, you will come out a king. Well, go on, men. Do what you came here to do. <laughs> 